So this picture was given and I gave a whole bunch of information. For example, they said that PN is about avatar, it's going through the center with its own. They told us that M R M this line is a tangent and it's touching the circle at N. And then they spoke about like all the chords that are drawn in um, and all the lines that are intersecting and so on. And then they told us that I will aim more people to X. Right, I think I pulled everything in there onto the picture. So for 5.1, they asked us to make four angles that are equal to 90 degrees. Now, that you actually have to do, you have to find two, and then you could use angles on a straight line to get the other two. So if we're looking at tangent perpendicular to radius, right? So if you say that, you could say that, let me just think of it. That angle N1 plus N2, that one was 90 degrees, and then so that would be tangent of the nuclear radius. And then because of angles on a straight line, N3 was 90. Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to write that down. Now, guys, for N1 plus N2, you can literally write N1 plus N2. You're not allowed to write it like this. Okay, you can't say N1 plus 2, like that. I actually marked that wrong in finals. So if you want to split it up into the two angles, you would have to say N1 plus N2, like that. Okay. Or you could have said PNR or PNM. Okay, you could have called it that. So that was equal to 90. And guys, the reason for this, tan perpendicular radius. And then N3 is equal to 90 degrees. <laughs> and then also, here, PN was the avatar, and the P is the 90 degree angle there. So Q1 is 90, and then because of angles on a straight line, Q3 is 90. Right, are they interested on that? Okay. Instead of Q2 plus Q3, also could have said M2N. Okay, now 5.2. Determine two other angles equal to X. All right, so we know that M is equal to X. Now we need to find two other angles that are equal to X. N2. Right? The only thing is we don't know that this is a chord or that this is a tangent, right? If you, if you wanted to use tan chord theorem, then that would have had to be a tangent. See, M is not in a circle. So it might be if we could prove in some other way that M was equal to N2, then it would be a tangent. Okay? But we don't know that. Either. Yes, I'm going to make one that you have to put it down. It is tough, eh? We might have to find something, <coughs> something like an in-between angle. So I'm thinking that if we maybe look at this big triangle here, right? that's 90 and that is X. We can get what that is in terms of X and then maybe work from there. Let's try that. I don't know if that is what we need to do, but angle P, which is now P1 plus P2 together, so I'm just going to say angle P is going to be equal to 180 minus 90 minus X. So guys, this is the thing. If you can't find 
and now the angle is equal to x, then we must try and find what if we can. All right, and hopefully, <laughs> we'll keep asking this across that it will get us to what we need in the end. So angle sum in triangle. I'm just going to write the name of the triangle so that we know what we're working with. PNM. Okay, so that it, this is going to give us an angle of 90 minus x. So that is what P is. I'm going to put it onto my picture quickly. Sorry. That's all angles 90 minus x. Oh, and now if we look at triangle to n, this one here. Right, so that's also a right angle triangle. So if that is 90 and that's 90 minus x, then we can calculate what m2 is. Right, so m2 will end up in x, but it's going to be because of angle sum and triangle in this one. Okay, so let's see quickly how that works. <coughs> Ooh, sorry. Um, so we're going to say m2, I'm going to write there for the piece following on from this statement. So therefore, M2, if we're now working in this triangle, is going to be 180 minus that 90 degree angle that we found there, P1, minus, now in brackets, the whole angle, right? Because it's multiple terms. So when we are subtracting more than one term, we have to keep it in brackets. So you guys see where that X is going to come from now, negative times the negative degree. Right? So 180 minus 90 is 90 degrees, minus another 90 is 0 degrees, and then we have a negative times a negative, which is going to give us x. So I'm just going to write it there to save some space. The so angle sum in triangle, and again, I'm just going to name the triangle to keep track of what I'm doing, but in a test of done, we don't have to. Okay, so we have one angle. I'm just going to put it in the thing. And two is equal to x. <coughs> and now we're probably going to have to use n2 to get the next one. I'm just going to freeze this so that I can move the next question down. Okay, let's take a look. N2. Oh, now I see how we can find the other one. N2 is subtended by this chord, hey? This one here, PQ. You see, at the circumference, right? And PQ also depends that angle over there, which is T2. All right. So because of N2 being X and being subtended by the same chord as T2, PQ is going to be equal to X. I'm just going to get those highlighters. So now we're going to say T2 is equal to X, and the reason for that is going to be and there's the same thing. And just as a reminder of what we are using here, I'm just going to write the name of that chord next to it, which chord PQ. And right, that was the chord that's subtending M2 and T2. Then you don't have to write that for the mark. So it's like... <clears throat> now I've moved this question down way too far. Let me move it back up again. Now in the next question, we have to prove that we have a cyclic chord. And guys, we're probably going to have to use some of the stuff that we proved in, what is this, 5.1 and 5.2 in order to do that. So MQTR, okay, so now I'm going to take my highlighter, I'm going to highlight MQTR is this one up here. There we know that it is quite useful if you have a visual of that thing, or that quad rather. Okay, so now I can prove that this is a cyclic quad. I didn't put in my X ring, the P2 ring. This is for that I have to switch it because it's very small. There's a T, there's also X. Okay. Hmm. So this is 
And we do opposite angles of cyclic module. We have a pair of opposite angles actually at, at the moment. We have that Q2 and Q3 in mind, but do we know that R1 is going to be? No. Okay, so at the moment we can't do that. Is there any way to prove that R1 is going to be? Right? Because T2 is not actually an exterior angle as it was. And also, I was looking at that, but M, M is not subtended by this root. You see? No, I think so. They're not actually opposite. So in terms of opposite angles, it would have to be this one here and that one here, or this one here at the bottom, not actually two. Oh, oh wait, I highlighted the wrong thing, guys. Here it goes. Thank you, Daniel. Yes. You see, I highlighted two here, and it should actually have gone to T. Okay. So there we go. Yes, then we'll be able to use X here and here we go. Thanks, Daniel. Okay, so let me put in that T2 again quickly because I just erased it. There we go. Now we can use exterior angle. Okay, sorry, I had to turn off. Okay, now T2, guys, we think that that is actually an exterior angle of the cyclic part because TR would be a side of it that's been lengthened. Okay, so we do have that T2 is equal to M. And T2 is an exterior angle equal to the opposite interior angle, so it is a cyclic part. Cool. Let's just write that down. So, guys, I am just going to state because nowhere have we actually written that T2 is equal to M. We say T2 is X, okay, but you have to just say which angles you're actually working with. So, T2 is equal to M, and they are both equal to X. Therefore, M Q T R is a cyclic quad. And the reason is going to be converse. Next to the angle of <clears throat> Okay, the last question is also about cyclic quad, but they are not telling us that we must prove that something is a cyclic quad. They are asking, is it a cyclic quad? And we justify our answer. So P N R Q. <coughs> so P N R Q, that one there. So guys, we had an actually, or there isn't actually a line there connecting R and Q. So I'm just going to draw that in. And then I'll highlight it in pink. So we are now looking at this shape here. Let me just make sure I'm highlighting the right thing. P N R Q, like that. <coughs> okay, so we now need to say, is this a sign of God? Yes or no? And guys, we do actually have some angles here, right? I'm going to zoom in so that you can see very clearly because there might be a bit of a confusion up there. This angle N1 and N2 is 90, right? And then we have that Q1 is also 90. But guys, is Q1 actually the angle in this plot? That whole angle that's opposite to N is actually Q1 plus that section there. So guys, the opposite angle are awesome, made to add up to 180, right? So if I have a 90 plus 90 plus something else, I don't even need to know what that is, right? Do we agree okay. that this angle with its PQR is definitely bigger than 90? Because it's Q1, which is 90, plus some more, right? We don't know what degrees that would, I mean, it's definitely something, okay? So by the fact that we're going to have that two opposite angles add up to more than 180, that means that it's concrete cycle. Yeah. So I'm going to write that P 
CMR is 90. Mm -hmm. EQR is 90 plus, what are we going to call this extra bit of angle here? MQR, hey, that extra bit, which is going to be bigger than 90. Okay, so I'm going to write that out and just look at it again. It's a bit of a difficult concept. So, what was it again? PNR is equal to 19. And we have already said that before. We're going to write that again. And then, let me just check. Was it now PQR? Yes. PQR is 90 plus MQR. <coughs> <clears throat> oh, sorry about that. I was hard to play last four days. <laughs> no, I'm coughing. So P N R plus P Q R these two are opposite angles, right? That's why I'm looking at them. It's going to be 180 for this 90 plus 90 plus this extra N Q R. <clears throat> So not 100 MQ, it's going to be like 190, 195, whatever this MQR is, we'll make it more than 180. So you can actually put a little thing there to show that it's greater than 180. As a reminder of why this actually matters. So therefore, PNR2 is not a cyclic quad. And guys, the reason is again going to be what did we look at? We tried to see if the opposite angles added to 180. But even though they didn't, that was the rule that we were using. So we're going to say converse of angles of cyclic quad. Okay, any questions, guys? All right, we're going to do that proof now. Um, I just quickly have to import this thing onto my iPad so that I can fill in. All right, guys, so time for here. That's the second new one that we need to be able to do. All right, so we've done opposite angles of cyclic quad. That's the one we need to prove that they can get one and two. They add up. Now we're going to have to prove that the angle between a tangent to a circle and a forge drawn from the point of contact that is forge is equal to angle C. All right. Now, guys, we're going to have to prove that this angle here is equal to that angle there, not using tan forge. Okay, you can't say in the proof of tan forge, oh, yeah, this angle is equal to tan forge theorem. Okay, unfortunately, that's not going to work. We need to use other theorems, other methods to actually prove that this angle at A is going to be equal to that one. Okay. Now, <clears throat> like I said, the construction is going to be OA and OB. So that that will not be given. They are just going to give you this kind of triangular shape in a circle and then tangent. Right? And you are going to have to remember to draw in O and O B. That's worth one mark. Okay, so even if that's the only thing that you remember, you can actually get one mark for this group at least, which is quite nice. So next to construction, I'm just going to write radii O A and O B. And now I must just make sure we don't leave any lines out. Now, guys, in a part of the proof, I've already put this X here, but they might not do that in when you are proving. Okay, so you are always going to have to make this outer angle equal to X, and then you're going to do various things and eventually you need to prove that C is equal to X as well. Okay, so your first line for the proof is going to be let angle BAP, right, the angle between the tangent and the chord, let angle BAP be equal to X.
Okay, so now what we're going to do, what do you guys know? What kind of um so called geometry here can we do here? What's anything that you see? Can you plan to generate type? Good. So this angle OH is equal to 90. Now guys, what does that mean for this small angle here, OAB? If this whole angle is 90, and that small angle there at the bottom is X, what will this angle be? 90 minus X. Okay, so guys, I'm actually going to write that all in one step. I'm just going to say, I'm not going to first say OAB is 90, therefore OAB. I'm just going to say OAB is 90 minus X. And my reading for that is going to be as a particular radius. <clears throat> so that is the next step. And the OAB is 90 minus X. And what type of triangle is this? That's not solid, right? Because we constructed these two radii and we know that radii are always equal. So if this angle is 90 minus x, then OBA is also going to be 90 minus x. That is our next step. OAB is 90 minus x. What's the reason for that going to be? Angles opposite equal sides and radii. And I'm going to write angles on the triangle for that one. No, I'm not doing one x minus. Okay, so we're just going to get angles opposite sides and radii. So OBA. And then, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the third angle in that triangle, right? Using angle sum and triangle. So we have that, so I need to sum it up. We're going to calculate this angle at O, right? AOB. We're going to do 180 minus that, minus that. And it is actually going to give us an answer of 2x. Okay, I'll show you now, but we can fill that in so long. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, so 180 minus 90 minus 90 is going to be zero. And then we're going to have a negative, negative x with x and another negative, negative x. So we're going to get 2x. I'll show you now, right? Or after you. 2x. And then, guys, because of angle of center, if the one at the center is 2x, angle C is going to have to be x, okay, because of angle of center. And there we have it. Okay, so those are going to be the next two steps. So we're going to say, therefore, Angle AOB is equal to 180 minus 90 minus x. Please remember to put it in brackets. You might do the math if you don't, you probably will. And then minus another 90 minus x. Okay, those are the other two angles in the triangle. So we're subtracting those. The reason for that, guys, angle sum in triangle. That's all. And then we're going to have 180 minus 90 is 90, and minus another 90 is 0. Okay, so the numbers are gone. But then a negative times a negative here is a positive. So that's where we're going to get 1x from. And then from the other bracket, we have another negative times a negative. That is. Okay, so x plus x is going to give us 2x. Therefore, angle C is going to be equal to half of that, which is X, because of angle at center equals two times angle at circumference. 
Today we have just proven that VAT is equal to P. All right, so that is just the last line that we have to write. So therefore, VAT is equal to angle P. Okay, so this time we have like five more proofs. So you get maybe a six more proof actually because we did two things in one where we got OA B, right? We knew that it was 90 degrees and then we minus the X. So this line would probably be worth two marks. Then you'll get one mark for the next line. You get a mark for minus in there and ending up with two X and a mark for that reason. And then the last mark will be for that last one. Now, oh, yeah, and it is our 15, that's 12. Not too bad, but you must just remember obviously your construction, right? Because if you forget the construction, then you're not going to be able to do anything. And then you must also remember to let the angle at the bottom equal to x. And guys, you could have worked from the other way around as well. So, <coughs> If you forget which one to make x, you can actually make this one equal to x as well. And then say, <coughs> sorry, the angle at the center is 2x. Because of angle at the center. And then you can say this one is minus minus x, doing your whole angle sum and triangle, angle of the side, equal side radii, I think. And then this is 90, so then that is x. Okay, so you can work from either side. But I would prefer working from the bottom, but yeah, it's up to me. In the case that they were from the top down. So if you want to take a look at that. Yeah. But I don't think this was a two that, right? Neither of the two that we've done actually are Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Um